What might a React Plus AI stack look like in 2025? If you're planning a new React project or thinking about upgrading your current setup, this video might give you some ideas. I know some of you still resist TypeScript, but I think it is non-negotiable in 2025. It catches mistakes early, makes refactoring less painful, improves your IDs autocomplete, and gives new devs on your team built-in docs. Plus, all the fancy AI coding assistants work way better with strongly typed code. Next, we've got our meta framework, Next.js. It is like the Swiss army knife of React development. It does everything and it does it well. Full React 19 support, integrated routing, API management, and built-in performance optimizations. Keep an eye on Remix and Tanstack Start, which is a new framework that's doing some really cool things. For styling, we're looking at Tailwind CSS. I used to be a Tailwind skeptic, but experience changed my mind. The best part is that AI tools can generate precise Tailwind classes, allowing you to prototype and iterate very quickly. Pair it with Shadsian UI and you're sorted. Shadsian UI is a library of beautifully designed components that work with Tailwind CSS. Now let's talk about state management. For client side, we've got SUS stand, zero boilerplate, tiny bundle size, simple but powerful API. For server state, TanStack query is the way to go. Trust me, it makes fetching, caching, synchronizing, and updating server state in your web applications a breeze. For animations, Motion, previously known as Framer Motion, is your best bet. It's got declarative animations that are easy to understand, and it is perfect for everything from simple transitions to complex motion designs. For testing, we've got the trifecta. We test as our test runner, React testing library for component testing, and Playwright for end-to-end -end testing. If you're doing anything with tables, TanStack table is a must. It's got type safe tables, virtual scrolling for tons of data, sorting and filtering that are easy to use, flexible column setups, and it performs amazingly well even with massive data sets. Forms in React used to be a pain, but not with React hook form. It is built for speed, makes validation a breeze when using Zod, works great with TypeScript, has a tiny bundle size, and an API that is actually intuitive. Shadsian UI component library has examples of how to use React hook form with their components, so that is an added bonus. For database, we are looking at Superbase. It has evolved into a full-blown backend with some cool AI features. It's got vector similarity search for AI stuff, built-in support for storing embeddings, can turn plain English into SQL, has real-time subscriptions, and a lot more. For cross-platform mobile development, we are sticking with React Native with Expo. Write once, run everywhere, get native performance when you need it, enjoy hot relearning for rapid development, tap into a huge ecosystem of libraries and tools, and integrate with native modules when you need platform-specific features. Now let's talk about component development. Storybook is still essential here. It is perfect for building and testing components in isolation. You get a built-in testing environment, great documentation generation, visual regression testing, and some neat collaboration features for designers and developers. For authentication, we are looking at Clerk. The free plan is pretty generous and it supports React, Next.js, React Native, Remix, Astro, and a bunch of other stuff. I've been using it for a while now, and I really like how straightforward it is to work with. For hosting, we are looking at Vercel, which makes deploying your applications a breeze. All right, let's now move on to the AI side of things. These tools will cost money, but they're well worth it. For code editors, we're looking at Cursor. It's a code editor that is built for AI. If there is only one AI tool you can afford, this is the one. Now VS Code recently introduced a free tier, so that's a good alternative if you're on a budget. For going from design to code, take a look at Visual Copilot, which is a tool that can turn your Figma designs into React code. I'm part of the team at Builder, so feel free to share your feedback with us. Lastly, there is Bold. This one is amazing as well. It turns your prompts into working React apps right in your browser. You just describe what you want, and in a few seconds, you've got a full stack React application. Now, AI is not cheap, but it is getting cheaper. I highly encourage you to try out these tools and see what you can do with them. So there you have it, the React plus AI stack for 2025. Which one of these are you most excited to learn about? Let me know in the comment section. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.